Hi there, we're here bringing you another Martin Masterclass. I'm Kat. And I'm Josie, and we're from Clustershire Wildlife Trust. And today we're going to be talking about radio tracking pie martins. So today we're going to explain a little bit about the pine martin reintroduction in Gloucestershire. We're going to show you a pine martin collar and we're going to teach you how to radio track a pine martin. So why are we reintroducing pine martins to Gloucestershire? Well, pine martins were once widespread across the UK, but they then became restricted to just the northern parts of Scotland. Following their protection in the 1980s, the population has slowly started to recover and spread back down through Scotland. However, they're still struggling to return to England and parts of Wales. A reinforcement of 51 pine martins was carried out in Wales in 2015. This reintroduction in the Forest of Dean aims to bolster that expanding population and make the overall UK population of pine martins more resilient. Pine martins haven't been returning in groups or herds or clans. These animals are solitary. They do not hang out with other pine martins, especially those of the same sex. They don't like sharing territories with them. And this is called intrasexual territoriality. Yes, and generally males have larger ranges than females. However, range size can vary massively down to a number of things. This includes food availability, availability of den sites, competition from other pine martins, and availability of mates. So we wanted to monitor the released population to find out where they were moving to, if they formed territories, and how big these territories were. Now to track these animals, we need to put radio collars on them. We could use things like GPS tags and satellite tags, but these are better suited to larger animals that move very long distances in open spaces. Small woodland mammals don't lend themselves to this kind of technology. So we're using the old school radio tracking technology. This is a Pine Martin radio collar. They're made up of the radio tracking technology, a large battery, a long aerial, and a leather collar. In this project, we don't intend to collar any young that are born here or recollar any animals once their collars fall off. We have one year maximum to find out where these released pine martins have gone and what territories they've formed before the collars fall off. And this is the equipment we use. A receiver, which actually tracks the animals, a Yagi aerial, which helps amplify the noise, and a good old fashioned notepad, compass and map. But unfortunately, we can't sit at home and watch little dots that represent our pine martins moving around the woodlands. We have to be out there tracking them on foot or in a car through the forest. So although many of you may not get to track a pine martin, we thought we'd teach you the dark art of how to radio track a pine martin so you can understand how we know where they are and how we know what areas their territories cover. First of all, we select the pine martin we want to track. Their radio frequency is tuned into our receiver. Then we use our aerial to search for the signal in all directions. Sometimes the signal can come from behind or above you, so it's best to check the strength of the signal in both directions. When the signal is strong, the pips that we hear are louder and clearer. This means we are facing in the right direction. Now we take a bearing, which, if you remember your school geography lessons, means that you face the direction the signal is coming from, then turn the bezel, this round bit, until the two north arrows line up. The number that this line or arrow points to is the bearing of the signal. You need to find where you are on the map, then from this location draw a line based on the bearing. What this means is that the martin is somewhere along this line. We then need to drive away from here to another location to get a second bearing so we can draw another line to identify where the two lines cross. Where the two lines intersect is where our martin is. We collect these points on a daily to weekly basis to gather information about where the pine martin is, where it's moving to and what area its territory comprises. And this location that we collect acts as a really good starting point for the search the next day. Hopefully this gives you a better understanding of how we know where the pine martins are and how to radio track them. And remember, pine martins have intrasexual territoriality, which means they don't share territories, especially with others of the same sex. And if you want to know more about this wonderful animal and Project Pine Martin, please visit www.gloucestershirewildlifetrust.co.uk forward slash project-pine-martin.